This is Mark at RealHotRadio.com. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Yeah, I'm driving. Oh, okay. Did I, did I, did I catch you off guard? <laughs> uh, well, I, <laughs> I was stuck in traffic. Oh, you're stuck but, in traffic? But, yeah, but it's okay. Oh, I, I know how the Los Angeles traffic is. Yeah. So is, is everyone home yet, or is it, I mean, everyone's still making their way home, or what's going on? Uh, well, well, I'm like five minutes from from my house. Oh, okay, so you're not you're not what? too bad. You're just right around the corner. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It just uh, my meeting got out kind of kind of uh, leaked. You know. Oh okay. So All right. I, I kind of like yeah, I kind of like rounded it off what I thought. So I got out like around the same time I thought I would, but I'm just not home yet. <laughs> okay. So I'm, like, okay. Five minutes away. Okay. Well, at least at least you're close. You know, that's that's the important thing. You're close. You know. Yeah, now, if you yeah. were five miles away, then I'd feel bad, but, you know, at least you're close. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I mean, I can pull over and talk right now. It doesn't matter. Okay, I mean, whatever fits you best, you, you know, I mean, you know, whatever, whatever. If you feel safe pulling over, then I agree with you, you know? Yeah, well, let's do it. I mean, um, you know, look, I, I guess I can't talk about any of the, my legal situation because my attorney's taking care of that stuff right now. Okay, that's good. Um, that's good. Yeah, yeah, but I will talk about my films and my music, and um, and things like that of that nature. Okay, so so we we're clear to talk about the music and your know, where your music career is going, right? Yes. Okay, exactly. that's good. That's good. That's good. Well, you know, I, I really wanted to talk about that anyway because you know you ha- you've had enough of the bad coming at you. You know, we we you know look forward to the good because I know there's some good things coming up and some big things happening for you. So. We definitely want to talk about all the good things, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm in the good things. That's why I'm like, okay, this is kind of silly. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, well, you know what? I want to start it off this way. I would like to know where is hometown and where are you from? Tell us where you're from. Where am I from? Good God. <laughs> I'm from the south and the Midwest. From Tupelo, okay. Mississippi, um, that's where my mom and us were from. And then, of course, it ranges um, to New Orleans, and then Indiana is where I ended up, and then I ran away came here to L.A. You know I'm driving illegal right now? Let me pull over. <laughs> yeah, you kind of, you were breaking <laughs> I'm, up I'm just talking, a little you know, bit. Yeah, that's why it's kind of like when we talk at home, but it's all good. We can, I, can, I don't want to not do an interview, you know, because it's unprofessional. So I, I want to keep my schedule despite what's going on right now. You know, right, I don't right. want to not keep my schedule just because some bullshit's going on. Right, right. I got you. I got you. Um, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. So how's how's the cooking out there? I mean, I, I've been through that that part before. I've, I've actually drove from Atlanta all the way to Los Angeles one time. Oh, really? That, oh, my God. That, that must have been a drive. I've seen everything, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, I mean, right I, now it's like hell, driver. Like, are you serious? You know, but um, I can pull over. Yeah, I got it. Because I'm sure about the time I get up the hill at this point, it probably be another 10 minutes just because I'm sure it's going to be, like, traffic okay. or some stupid thing. All right, so uh, I'm pulled over pretty safe, not going to run away pedestrians, anything like that. So <laughs> it's, it, must, it must be an interesting day out there in Los Angeles. Very interesting, I may I may say. Yeah, one of my most more... Um, yeah, very interesting. I just earlier about that. Peculiar, interesting. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I drove all the way to Los Angeles one time. We 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 drove through the desert. It was so hot, the tires were melting. I mean, From, we had to. We 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 well, we was driving through. Let me see where we was at. I think we were we weren't in Albuquerque. No, we was uh-huh. in Arizona. We were in Arizona. That's where we was at. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd do it. That'd do it. Yeah. And and we kept on seeing these weird signs, you know, like when you park over and you know you go to the rest stops, and they see right. the signs about rattlesnakes and scorpions and stuff like that. <laughs> You're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my God, those are awesome. I love places like that. Like that's where yeah. we go. Um, we do like our location scouts at places like that. Like just like the really weird off set, you know, offbeat places that's like hidden away. Because the kind of films I do is a, a you know a cult horror, so we look for like the like the really like eerie offbeat kind of like small towns and cities, you right, know, and buildings. Right. Yeah, to kind of like fit um, the ambiance and like the uh, the creativity you know world that I see in my head. So. 
Right, right, exactly. Because uh, you're, you're into horror films. You're, you're a horror film director, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love horror films. It, you know, my whole family loves it. It goes way back, you know. My mom, she has, uh, like, a wall-to-wall, ceiling to floor light mirror, just like scary movies, from the VHS to the DVDs. And she has, like, like at least two of each one, just in case somebody, like, comes to borrow one. Because they, mm-hmm. they really never bring them back. So, oh, wow. <laughs> So, yeah, she always, like, if she finds another of the same movie she has, then she'll just, like, rebuy it. So we have, like, she, well, she has, like, every movie you can ever think of, you know. Okay, okay. So, so yeah. was your mother, so it seems like your mother was kind of like your little inspiration um, or kind of like introduction into horror when you were small, huh? Oh, yeah, like my whole family. <laughs> Okay, okay. See me, I'm different. Well, I, can... I mean, Listen. well, my brother, like I said, he's a comedian. He's a goofy butt. Like, and then, and then you got my little sister. She's like, she can sing a lot. Like, she's really good, like a gospel singer kind of person. But she doesn't okay. pursue it, of course. And then you got my my other my older sister. Well, she's not older, but you know, older than me. She's um, you know, she's like the, the model type. She's like the really pretty one. Right. And then then you got me, which is like whatever, whatever I am. <laughs> oh, so, so wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> so, but it, it's got to be beauty in there somewhere. You can't just say I'm just a whatever. You know, it's got to well, be beauty I, in there somewhere. I have no idea at this point. <laughs> I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, I have no idea. Seriously, I mean, like okay. I never thought it was attractive to begin with. <laughs> well, hey, well, the picture. And that now it's like, I mean, but. Just because of my disorder I've had my whole life, it, right. I've just been like an introvert. And now it's like I've had the chance to come out of my shell because, like, you know, I like to live my life and, um, you know, just do things the way that I want to do it. I've grown a whole lot. So now I was like, okay, you're like, yeah, I'm cute, whatever. Now I was like, you're ugly. I'm like, okay, thanks a oh, lot for that. So like, wow. thanks a lot for that. You know, but yeah. I'm not, I, know, I know I'm not ugly, but right. when somebody say that, you know, make statements to where you make you feel like you're unattractive. But like, I'm like, even I don't believe that. That's that's so you know, crazy. Yeah, I know, know exactly like, what you mean. I know exactly. Yeah, what you mean. yeah. I'm like, even I don't believe I'm unattractive. I'm not blind, and I'm and I'm has a pretty great boyfriend to back that shit up. So, right, right. You know, so um, yeah. So because I just want to focus on what's what's real in my life. You know, uh, aside all this fake bullshit. I, I just want to focus on my career because that's where it's at, you know. Um, that's right. That's right. You know, I've always been independent like that. You mm-hmm. know, like um, like I made my way. I made my way from the streets. You know, it's like I ran away. Guess what? It's like I'm still here. Um, you know, I went to school. You know, I like I said, I got my my deal. You know, and it's worldwide. It's not like you no, know, like just for uh, Netflix. It's like for movie, like theaters as well. Right. And for silver screen. And it's for like major retail, and also Netflix in Redbox. So it goes from the theater to, um, you know, to the to the DVD, and then to the retail, you know, right, and then like right. to the rental. So it's like I, I got a full, you know, I I've I've accomplished things that uh, I'm really proud about in my life, and I'm just not going to let at this point, you know, something really ridiculous. Right. Like I said, right. I'm, I'm not going to speak on it at this point because it's just like gotten so out of hand. I'm just like. Wow! All I gotta say is I didn't do that. You did that. That's right. all. That's only thing I. That. Right. That's I have nothing to say. I'm so I'm just dumbfounded for words. But I just said my career. Um. Well, you know what? I want to say something about it because you know I kind of read a, a little bit of story about it, and you know, and I don't think it's right that, you know, and I know that your lawyer has advised you not to say anything about it. But so I'm gonna be your voice right now, okay? I I just I've read the situation and I know how dirty the media can be. You know, they they're always going to turn things around and make it seem like, you know, it's always not that way or doesn't go that way or they always look at it from one side of the fence, they're going to look at the person that's more popular, you know, they're going to lean towards that fence. Um I we we're, we're not like that. We 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 try to get you know everything out in the clear and and I just don't like how you know, the media just portrays certain things and it just leans one way where everyone, you know, just believes that one story. I think there's always two sides to a story. I think that they should they they should have at least, you know, given you the opportunity to, to, to 
produce the truth. You know what I mean? Not just yeah. you know, oh well, let's just do it this way and let's 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 make let's make it a uh, media frenzy and let's bring more attention to it. No, it shouldn't have been like that. It should have been like let's find out what's going on and let let the truth be told. You know what I mean? So right. I mean that's that's the way I looked at it. But anyway, like you said, yeah. it's you like, know, I'm, I'm about it, the truth. It's like I'm about the truth. You know, and it's like. I, it just, right. uh, it's very unfortunate that it's been done toward me, especially a person like myself, right. you know, who's only helped people. And, right. um, you know, I've never once ever done anything bad to anyone, nor would I even desire to do anything bad. So, you know, as I said, it looks bad upon upon the doer, not me. I didn't do anything. You right. know, the exactly. person that, that filed the lawsuit, you did that. Right, exactly. Uh, public information, you did that. I didn't do it. So I don't want anybody trying to say that she did it and said that he did it. <laughs> right, right. Shit been getting twisted up so crazy in the media. That's all I have to say. I'm like, so nobody can say she defamed your wife. Like, you did that. Right, exactly. So that, that's all I'm saying about that. You know, right. it's like, I am a good person. I'm going to never do it to anybody. And uh, I, like I said, I'm not, I just, I, I don't know what to even say about the whole thing. It's like, wow. Right. And you want to know something? This is the this is this is going to be the uncut, unedited version live when we're finished. So it's not something that we're gonna chop up. You know what I mean? And make right, it sound yeah. this way and make it sound that way. Oh my it's god! Yeah, I, I, I've raw, seen those. Version. Yeah, I've seen those. I've I've had those where I'm like, what? I didn't say that. It's like, are right. you serious? Or they'll edit something to where. It's just ridiculous things that I've experienced, and it's like I'm a baby. Like I'm. I'm not like, as in like uh, the crossover scene, you know, right. it's like I'm I'm new. I see now how vicious the media can be and right. how cutthroat another artist can be. It's like, right. wow, are you mm-hmm. serious? I yes. had no idea. And yeah, then it gives me a whole, sport. it gives me a whole new perspective upon everything. Well, I'm like, well, my kind is not going to be taken for weakness because right. in reality is I'm a pretty tough cookie. Right. You know, and uh, I haven't come this far from being stupid and naive, mm-hmm. you know, and, um, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, I, I don't, I have, I have, as you can say, I don't have no idea what's even going on. Like, mm-hmm. seriously, all these accusations being thrown at me, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You said that. Right. That's the only thing I have well, to say is like, you said that. Right. Well, you know what? Put that all behind you. It's behind you right now. You're looking forward I'm, I'm to I'm doing me. I'm I'm doing me. Like I said, I have uh, I have an awesome team, and uh, I have actually I have an awesome new team as well, and um, right. firm, and uh, and like I said, they'll reveal that. I'm not I'm not going to reveal anything at this point, just because of the nature of the matter, and right. just because of how dirty things things are being they're they've been played pretty dirty. It's mm-hmm. like it's like I can't believe it. It's like a right. serious. Right. So. So I have a whole new representation of everything across the board, like right. as in, you know, making sure that things get done right. And right. Uh, like I said, I just focus on my movie. Uh, in Hollywood, we're, we're actually, like I said, we're casting, and that's what I'm focusing on. And, and my lawyers are taking care of this whole lawsuit thing. I, you know, I'm glad, I have nothing to do with that. That's, you know, I didn't file it, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to deal with that mess. Right, um, right. I'm just going to focus on my career and, uh, you know, shoot my movies that I have to have done by May. So mm-hmm. that's going to be finished, you know what I mean? And um, so I'm not going to let this stop me from doing nothing. Um, that's right. My my other interviews that I have, I'm going, you know, of course, I'm going to still keep my appointments. But, you know, I, I'm going to be very – I'm not going to entertain something that – um that they're wanting me to entertain. Not say not you, but I mean like as in like the media. It's like right. the only thing I've ever done was defend myself against what was said about me. Right. I've never once talked bad about anybody ever. So mm-hmm. I'm just like just because I'm defending myself, that hurts people's feelings. Wow, I'm a I have the right to defend myself. Mm-hmm. You know, without without telling me you can't you have to shut up. It's like, wow, okay, whatever. It's just stupid. Um but yeah, so my album Time Heals All Wounds, uh, you know, they're doing promo on that like right now. Like I said, I have a brand new um team all together. Um, that's just like they're doing all my social media stuff and so basically I I'm doing nothing. All thing I have to do is get the movies done and um, you know, make sure that, you know, I show up for whatever music promotion that I'm supposed to show up for. 
you know, and um, my guest spots for also like promoting my songs or the album that they're scheduling me for here in the near future. And it's like that's not like I said, you know, I I didn't create this the scandal. I didn't create anything except uh-huh. for my career. Right, so what I created, right. you know, what I created, that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to be right. anybody else's mess, nor I'm not going to entertain their mess either. Right. So like I said, that's that's behind me, and um. Uh, Hollywood is a is a true a cult horror movie, by the way. Right, right. Okay, I'm gonna ask you that. That's the next question. I said, okay, yeah. horror films horror films are a hot trend these days, and more films, even funny ones, are coming out with horror in it. Right? <laughs> Did you like okay. David Wayans? Isn't that one crazy? I haven't yes, seen that yes. yet, though. I haven't, I, was, seen, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm yet to see it. But I I was laughing about it. so hard. You know, I haven't seen it. But the thing is, I, I think I'm going to because I was also so hard when I saw the previews. <laughs> I was like, because I, I know those guys too, you know. And I'm right. like, oh my god, like they are like they're just fucking hysterical. You know what I mean? Right. It's like their work is like amazing. So right. it's just you know, I'm like, good good stuff, good stuff, you know. Right. But it's like night and day, you know. It's like like that's more of a comedic, but still funny, mm-hmm. you know, kind of like scary movie. I know, right. but my things, what I write is like it's 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 more um it's more hardcore, I would say. Okay. It's more it's more realistic, more um sinister, just because mine is exactly as is. Okay. So like that. I don't that's why I, I wanted to become independent because I didn't want like my stories taken and then chopped up. Hence the right. way the media does things. Like right. I don't want my my um my movie to be chopped up and then when when it goes to the theater or when it goes to the public, it's like that's not what the script was about. It's like, well, right. oh, that's not what that scene was, or I didn't want that kind of character. And it's like once it's in their hands, and it's like you know, it's that it's everything's out of my hand. Mm-hmm. So I you know I was wanting just to be like hands on with my career, so that's why I decided to do it you know this way, and then it just kind of like it took a life of its own, you know, right, and it's right. worked out for me. So. Um, on Hollywood, like I said, that's that's pretty much it's it's pretty creepy real. It's pretty freaking creepy real, and that's you know that's when, when, one reason why I got the deal. And I did not want to touch um, on Hollywood, you know, without the deal. Right. Just, just because that's that's how important that one was for me. Like Angel One Eye, that one's we have that's in post production right now. We've mm-hmm. already shot uh, shot that one, and that one is going to DVD though. That's going to Netflix because that was like my first one. Okay. Yeah, and that and that was kind of that's pretty cool too though. It's pretty you know my that's I got signed on on my VP work and my um directing work on that one, and also for my my screenwriting. So like I said, my gifts is the reason why I'm I am where I'm at and only my gifts. Mm-hmm. You know, so I like I said, I ended up dating some pretty cool guys in the in the meantime, but they're actually guys I actually did date. <laughs> and, right. and, and and I'm getting crucified for the one that I actually didn't date. It's like, are you crazy? How does it even work? It's like, <laughs> I'm getting, I, this just doesn't make any sense. I was like, I just retarded. It's called like, success. I mean, <laughs> well, That's yeah, it well, when, when other people see, see that you're becoming successful, and they're, if they're not on the same level of success, sometimes they can throw some little curveballs at you, you know what I mean? And just kind of throw you off your game, so... Well, gotta, yeah, I was trying to throw me off my game, but I was like, I'm like, I'm going nowhere because when you work hard for something, it's like you stand because it's like you, you didn't just come overnight and nobody just gave it to you. So it's like, right. that's why it's like it's planted deep. It's like you cannot move me. I don't care what you do to me. I don't care what you throw at me. You cannot cut me down because this is rooted. I am rooted. Right. right. You know, and, it, and it's like I'm not I'm not like a night by fly chick like that. It's like. Uh, yeah, these are the other chicks in this town. They're, they're mm-hmm. trying to get something from from a person. With me, it's like I I I create my own, right? You know, and and with what I create, I help others with what I create. You know, right. and um, right. so that's so why I'm like, it's just everything's unfortunate what's happening. Um, like I said, I, I it's 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 deeper than you can ever imagine. 